This week on Mountain Bike Chronicles, we meet up with Darren Bearclaw as he makes his return to the competition season. And we check out the Claymore Challenge at Highland Mountain Bike Park. We're in Tilton, New Hampshire for the Claymore Challenge, the second gold stop of the FMB World Tour. This is Darren's first contest of the year. He's known for doing some of the most progressive lines in mountain biking. Pushing the limits means sometimes you go down. Earlier this year, he went down hard. Seven weeks ago, I ended up breaking my back. It'd been a while since I've done a front flip and I wasn't really feeling that confident. So I asked my girlfriend, I was like, hey, you wanna, uh, you wanna watch this one? I think I might crash. Ended up landing flat on my back and breaking myself off. Hey, Darren, how's it going? Hey, not bad yourself? Good, I'm good, thanks. And the whole vertebrae's crushed down to about half the size that it should be. Which is something that uh, would normally debilitate 99% uh, of uh, normal people. In my practice, I see people like Darren who are able to sustain serious injury and get back up and uh, do it all over again. Don't really feel that I'm uh, mentally or physically ready to be doing much contests, but at the same time, here I am. You know, I haven't been doing this a while, and you know, you just sometimes hope that it just you just fall back on like you know what you know what to do. The fourth annual Claymore Challenge. Though a favorite among riders, the contest faces the same challenges as any coastal city. The rain has delayed practice, and riders have to find new ways to pass the time. Others take their practice indoors. Located on the coast, Highland is no stranger to rain, and has built an indoor training facility in the last year, so riders can stay on their game when the weather's bad. Tomorrow's weather forecasts are looking better, so it won't be long before the riders will get to hit the dirt. While the other riders were practicing in the foam pit, Darren had another setback keeping him off his bike. So here I am, I'm sick, where I should be riding the foam pit like everyone else, but I got this damn bronchitis that's been kicking my butt for the last uh, five days, which is really inhibited. My, uh, my training to get back on the, on the scene. Since breaking his back, Darren has only had two days on his bike. Which really sucks because, you know, two days of practicing for the season really isn't quite enough time to really get back into, into prime shape, you know, mentally and physically for riding. And I'm supposed to ride a contest tomorrow. Five months ago, preparations began for the first diamond event of the FMB World Tour, Red Bull Joyride. What we want to accomplish by the end of the day is to have this page filled out with pretty much a clean draft of what the new course design is going to look like. So keep it in mind too, you know, that we're not looking at a slope style contest, we're looking at a free ride mountain bike contest. Four riders came to Vancouver, BC to help design the course. That lip and make hip onto that landing. So that'd be sick, then you could have like a transfer zone. Patty Kay of Joyride Bike Parks was in charge of building the course. The basic structure of this course is that there's like three main features that will be shared by all the lines. So you just keep the flow and keep the options and keep it busy, you know, like make it fun to ride and you're not just standing there holding on to your brakes, getting ready for the next hits. My favorite part of courses are just, you know, fluidity of flow, linking jumps together, back to back. Not a lot of space in between jumps. Cameron Zink couldn't make it, so they called him on Skype for his input. What's up? 
have you guys been doing all day so far? Uh, I was just working on this course. So the last feature we were thinking of doing a uh, like a house sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's the inside, and this this will be outside. That's gonna be the last feature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three options. It's like a dog hut. Good shit. I like it. So like it's gotta be like that. How would you have the, the lip back here, set back? When you when you create a good course and the riders are having fun, it shows. I think the course is gonna be good. It's got some good jumps, all the styles, and the blend is uh, it's pretty cool. At the end of the day, they had finished the design. All that was left was to build it. Day two at Highland, and the Claymore Challenge will soon be underway. But the riders will have to get dirty first, if they want to have some fun. After some coarse touch-ups, it's time to compete. Kyle Strait is a mountain biker in every sense, doing everything from winning Rampage in 2004 to a first place finish in the 2009 Crankworks Slalom oh, Race. After some time off, Kyle is looking to get back into the slope style side of things. He rocks out a great run, finishing with a double tail whip that earns him the title of the weekend's best trick. What a hell of a run for Chaotic Kyle Strait. Darren Bearclaw is feeling better, but by no means at full strength. He's going to have to dig deep and prove that despite the early setback, he's still one of mountain biking's elite. So I just tried to stick with what I know and not try to like really put myself out there in terms of like my really hard tricks. Everything was going really well until the last jump. I pretty much ran out of gas. I went for a switch three whip, and it, I was so gassed. Like I remember going up in the middle of there, and I was just like, ugh. I just kind of like gave up. Ended up crashing. This sickness just pretty much took everything out of me. Wasn't too too happy with it, but you know, I'm stoked to to be back in the mix. Had a pretty good night's sleep. I uh, decided that my flight's at 3 o'clock, so I might as well get in the aerodome and do some training, practice on some tricks. All the practice I can get, you know, I, I really need it right now. Pretty fun little session I had, just brushing up on things and just improving, learning a couple new things, and, you know, it's just, uh, constant, you know, always uh, trying to push your own boundaries. Feels pretty good to get the first contest out of the way after being injured. Good to prove to myself that, you know, I'm, I'm still in it, and getting better and better and uh, getting back to where I used to be. So I can be uh, real competitive on this tour and just having fun and riding on my bike like I love to do. After some amazing riding in the finals and Kyle straight in the lead, we're down to the last couple of riders. Here comes Francis Kelly, Yannick Ranieri goes first down. and wastes no time in racking up his score. doesn't disappoint, and the judges put him at the top. 
Canadian Brandon Semenuk is in great form, coming back from 26 tricks in Austria with a slope style win and the best trick title. He seems to only be getting better. His great run has only one flaw when his foot comes off the pedal. He needs nothing short of perfection to have a chance at winning. He does a huge flip whip on the final jump and secures his spot on top for the second week in a row. Shut the front door! With his second place finish, Granieri has taken the overall lead. Pilgrim is in second, and Brandon Semenuk is in third. Next week on Mountain Bike Chronicles, we head to Mont Saint Anne and catch up with the Athertons during their week off.